Hello, welcome back again. Tonight we're going to be drawing either a softball or baseball, whichever you prefer. Both of them will be drawn the same way. It just depends on how you color it. And at the end, if you add either the word softball or the word baseball to your picture. So what I'm going to be using for my circle is a lid. And I'm using a lid to give me a nice size ball and it won't be uh, oval or wonky shaped. So gather your lid and get your drawing utensils and let's begin. I'm gonna start with my lid in the center of my paper and very carefully I'm going to trace around the lid, making sure that I keep the marker pressed up against my lid edge. Take that away. The next thing we are going to do, we are going to add the seams and the stitches for our ball. So I'm going to make the left side, I'm going to curve, and I'm going to curve the same way on the right side. For the stitches, I'm going to start with this side over here, V pointing down. Trying to keep about the same space between each of the, the letter V's. And on the left side, I'm going to make a V shape that's upside down. So it's like an arrow pointing up. Again, trying to keep the spacing the same. Okay, I'm going to add a little extra thickness to each of these stitches just by going back and adding a slightly curved line from the end of the V point to the center seam. Do this both on the right and left side. You can come back and color those red later. All right, we are going to now add the bats to the background. This might be a little bit challenge for challenging for some of you, but I think whatever you get, it's going to be great. I'm going to start uh, at the top of my ball with two diagonal lines. One on the left and one on the right. Now I'm going to double both of these lines up. I'm going to leave this end a little further away and get closer here. It's not too close, just enough to show that the ball, the bat, tapers down to the end. Okay, close those up with a curve. And now we're going to cross our bats at the bottom. So from this line, I'm going to skip over the ball. Nice line sticking out. Do the same here. This time, however, the lines are getting closer together at the end. I'm going to close this off. Go ahead and finish up this bat on the right. Once again, making sure the end of the bat gets a little bit closer together and close that end off. Now, my bat is not finished yet. We're going to add the little round part at the bottom. So your hands do not slip off the end of the bat. It's a curved line, almost like I'm making a circle. There we go. Okay, now to add the ball diamond in the back. I'm going to make a V shape at the bottom. And I'm going to continue this V shape out to the left, out to the right. It might be a little wide, but that's okay. Curve all the way across the top until you've closed your ball diamond. There we go. Now I'm going to write the word baseball across this image here. So, be ready. This is cursive, so it will be um, a little bit challenging for those who don't know cursive. If you want to write in print, you can absolutely write in print. 
So I'm going to start with my letter B. And I'm going to let the B kind of hang out over here. Two nice, big curved lines. And on to the word A-S-E-B-A-L-L. All right, I'm going to start at the top of the letter A, curve to the left, up, and bring my curve back down. There's A. I'm going to bring my S up, my curve out to the right, into the back side, bring this line back over. This is a loop. Up and back down, B A S E. Now for ball, we're going to make a tall loop for the B. Bring it back down, bring it up. Now I'm going to make a little line that goes over to the right to the top of my A, curve back around like a letter C. Bring the line all the way up, curve down for a little tail, and two loops on the end. All right. Now on this, it's a little challenging to see the word baseball. You might want to go back through and double up some of your lines. You can thicken up those letters, so it would make it easier to see the word baseball. Remember, your work does not have to look like someone else's work, and you can make this your very own. If you don't want to do cursive, absolutely do this in print. If you don't want to add a word across your picture, by all means, leave it off. You could even use a thicker marker to get your letters added on to your picture. All right. Pretty close to being finished here. And I could come back and finish the B. All right, there is baseball. Now, I've got another one already drawn, and I will show you how to write the word softball. Okay, for the letter S, again, we're going to begin over here on the left side. Curve up to the left, in to the right, down and back over to the left. The O, I start at the top of the O, curve over like I'm making a letter C. This time continue like I'm making a circle up to the top. Now my F makes a loop at the top of the F, comes down and a loop at the bottom. I'm going to curve up. And this time I'm not going to loop. I'm going to bring my T back down so it's even with the O. Now for the B, I make a tall loop down part of the way up. Curve over and I'm back at the top of my letter A, curve around like a letter C, up, looks like a little tail, and two loops on the end. All right, I can thicken this letter up here. Uh, I'm not going to take your time thickening up that letter. I'll show you. Uh, these are just some sketch marks that I made on another picture 
coming up with my ideas. This is what it takes to decide what you are going to be working on. So the first time you make a project, it's not always going to be exactly what you want it to be. Here is a baseball with some bats. And this time I put a zigzag line around it instead of having the word softball or baseball. Have fun with your creation, whether you enjoy softball or baseball. I can't wait to see what you all make. Bye-bye.